One, cut it, go live. Live here at THG headquarters, we got some groundbreaking news. The guys are going on a business trip. Where are we headed? Well, I'll tell you. We're going to Los Angeles, California. Flying in on Sunday, we're going to an LA Lakers game. Monday, we're probably going to hit the beach and do some sightseeing. Tuesday, we're going to go hit up the LA Kings game. Wednesday, we're going to hop on a flight, head back to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Take Best thing about it. LA is there's thousand Take different food options. We're definitely gonna be hitting in and out. Probably I'm gonna go do some research, do some deep They're dive. Known as the pizza figure out uh, maybe we'll go to Dobricks, go to Saddle Ranch, go find some influencers to hang out and bully. Is that um, what we do? We bully influencers. Chris does. What a great way to start off the day. Great way to start off this YouTube vlog. <laughs> what you haven't seen a guy shadow box before? It's game day, baby. Let's go. So we got a fun vlog. I don't even know exactly what we're all gonna be doing it, but we are going to the state tournament tomorrow. We're going to an expo on Friday. Please. This actually will be a pretty good YouTube video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in and let's get to it. Hey Will, can you uh, remind me what time it is right now? It is 11.27 a.m. Huh, there's uh, something missing here. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. We actually have heard from him. Last time we didn't hear a wink. <laughs> Anything. So we know he's alive, we know he's well, but we just don't know when he's coming to the office. <laughs> Take a guess what the first thing he's gonna say is. Sorry guys. <sighs> Put his things down. Walk over to his desk. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> well he told me last night that he's going for breakfast with his family. I think his breakfast ended about an hour plus ago, so I don't know if he's going for lunch with them too and then dinner, but uh, we'll see what time he arrives. Buddy have kind of been on each other all week long, and I think this might set him over the edge. They might split up for the weekend for the first time. Huh? Did you uh, stop for lunch too or brunch? Huh. You got your computer out, man. You got three hours of work you missed. <laughs> You've been working for three hours? <laughs> yeah, I've been grinding. Oh, look. Your computer's off. <laughs> yes. Hope you learned your lesson. I did, man. You set me straight. <laughs> We're finally ready to go, folks, because we also have another announcement. The boys are upgrading some technology. Yelly's finally going to have his own computer to work off of. It's first time ever. It's about time. Took 25 years to get my own <laughs> laptop. <laughs> Finally, uh, I don't have to have a community laptop anymore. It's time for an upgrade here in the office. Do you have a list or are you just spot shopping? I'll let uh, Yelly see if he can find what he wants because he's the one actually shopping today. You're the one picking things out. It feels like Christmas right now. <laughs> what do you want, man? It's on me, it's on um, me. I feel like Santa here. I've never felt this way before. I'm getting <laughs> gifted something this cool. This is your responsibility. Yeah, can we get this for the office? <laughs> Put the headphones on. Don't tell Lawson, but we're sneaking this out. Yeah, Got we, it? we came here for a computer, but we're leaving with a flat screen. Please. 150 bucks for those suckers? Yep. Rick, we had to work overtime this week. What do you recommend? I don't shop in Apple very much. We don't need the numbers on the side. You're not doing like numbers work, right? No, I'm not doing <laughs> it. You're not balancing a budget? Yeah, we're, we're kind of uh, uneducated with the technology nowadays. Pretty cool that we can go to Best Buy and actually buy our computers now after two years. That's small good. victory. It, it is, is a small a, victory. It is a cool stepping stone. Cool stepping so, stone we can buy a equipment. You bet. All because of you guys. So thank you. And we'll make sure to get great use out of this electronics that we're getting today. Right, guys? Yeah, electronics. <laughs> Can't wait to play right? Clash of Clans on my new computer. <laughs> Pretty soon I'll be able to upgrade to a full new kitchen because of you guys. So <laughs> thanks for supporting Sauce with Austin. <laughs> you know what they say? If you want to succeed, you got to invest in yourself. So I got a keyboard today. Hey. Look at that. <laughs> Probably the, the safest guy, which is why I was given the, the biggest prize today. I pride myself at keeping my personal belongings safe. So I'll treat this no different and there won't be a single scratch, dent, anything on this. I think he needs a big, yeah. like, 15 pound he needs otter, otter box. box yeah. Laptop case. <laughs> this is a struggle. So, we're watching the starting lineups for the Minnesota State Hockey Tournament, 
And a cool little tradition is they skate up without their buckets on and show off their flow. Yelly's got going. I would on. do good. I would do good. What would the, you do if you skated up there right now? I would go as fast as I can. Just do one of these and let the hair just fly back. Get some good hair. My friend, actually, a D-man on our team, won the hair what? team one year. What do you get? Don't you get like a box of like? I think you get like a cool free haircut. Stuff. That's it. <laughs> skate fast. Thanks for watching our videos, buddy. That's for our three-year-old fan, Lucas. His mom reached out because he's a big fan of ours, so we wanted to send him a nice little message saying thank you. He's been he's been following us since the beginning. Oh, what a cute little fella. Oh, that's adorable. Future NHLer right there. This is the Let's Play Hockey Expo, and it's really just a bunch of hockey companies come together, show off their products, show off different people, and it's during the state tournament right next to the XL Energy Center. Here to represent Sophie Squad, which is a foundation that started for a girl who took her own life a few years ago, and yeah, we're just promoting mental health and gonna have a good time. Key tradition here, I remember doing this as a kid, having a big tape ball in my hockey bag. So like every time you uh, take the tape off your socks, you just add it to your tape ball. Did yours ever get that big? Mine was twice the size of that. <laughs> You're Zach. I'm Will Blake. I am from Minnesota, so I've been to numerous tourneys before and this is super fun to be here today. I'm Levi Cudmore, I'm from North Dakota. And this is actually my first Minnesota State Hockey Tournament, and I'm having an unreal time here. This is also my first time here at the tournament, and it's really cool to see. It's producer, very cool. As a producer, how does it feel to be on the camera in an interview? I think we just, uh, we passed the tryout. Yeah. We, need, we need the mics for actual podcast I now. think roles are reversing. Yeah. What do you rate your hockey flow out of 10? You just got a haircut. I'd probably rate it at like a 6. <laughs> okay. Six. Still better than mine. <laughs> Probably a five. It's five? Getting a little, it's I'd, I'd, I'd bump it up. Let's bump it up to a seven. And then what do you rate Zach's flow? Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Google oh, Plus. Yeah. Google Plus. <laughs> I think there's some bias on that one. I don't, I don't think it's a ten, but we'll take that. It's got to be Google Plus. Thank you. Come one. Come all. The carny. <laughs> Want to spin the wheel, young boy? Two dollars a spin. Get this gold right here. I'm taking next week off of work, Lawson. Oh, not even close. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I gotta work Sandals next week. Me. Oh, oh, shoot, purple. <laughs> I gotta work overtime. It's Saturday, the boys are back at Target for another saucin' with Austin Hall, but this time we are gonna be getting dill pickle dip <laughs> ingredients. Keeping it light. Keeping it light, and we're gonna try and sneak you around again. So, uh, what's everyone's pickle brand preference? I'd like to know. Okay, we're giving the Target kind a go. We'll let you know how they turn out. What well, frizz? We can just be lazy and get this. No, there's no fun in that, obviously. We gotta show them how to make it. Fine. Going with the third of the fat of cream cheese, and I just realized we don't have a basket, so we gotta go find a basket now. The recipe calls for fresh dill. They don't have any at Target, so we're getting dried. Let's go check out. It's a good thing we're off to LA, eh? Yeah, I'm sick of this weather. Now let's get back and let's whip up that dip. We're back with this week's Awesome with Austin. We just did a little Target haul, and this week, like we said earlier, we're gonna be doing an appetizer dill pickle dip. First test is to actually see if these Target dill pickles are any good. Or would be better cold. Yeah, any great dip, we're gonna start out with some cream cheese. Oh, oh, hands right now. Oh, that's sour cream, cheese should into the bowl. A, take a bite. Oh, take Ooh, it like this. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Good Colby Jack. Important part to really get that dill flavor in: dill pickle juice. Might he might have been onto something? Yeah, he might have just uh, invented relish. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're gonna add a little bit of mayo. Now we want even more dill flavor, so we're gonna add our dried dill. We're gonna add Cuddy's shredded pickle and cheese. Garlic powder coming in. A little salt. Pepper missing here. Is it in your bedroom again? <laughs> it's under his pillow. My midnight snack is <laughs> pepper. There's no going back. Your dill pickle dip. Always important to find a good chip. Coming in hot here. 
I think it could sit in the fridge a little bit longer, kind of let the flavors develop, but right now, pretty good. So seven and a half, there's my score. Oh yeah, it's very dilly, very creamy. I know I'm getting flavors at different times there. I think you can do better. I'm gonna <laughs> give the Saucin rating a five. Wow. Thanks for coming to this week's Saucin with Austin. I think next week we're gonna be on the road. We might do a little food review for that. If you'd like to see this full recipe, it's on the What's The Move newsletter that me and Yelly put out every Wednesday, so go check that out. And thanks for coming to this week's Saucin with Austin, dill pickle dip. See you next week for another special surprise. Bag for uh, California, got the camera bag going. You gonna hold down the fort for the boys? Always, always. And over Ollie? Well, we'll see. Might just let him uh, fend for himself on the other side. <laughs> hey, Mort. Be good, Mort. <laughs> We're excited to show you what's coming up this next week. We got a lot planned. Finally gonna get a little bit of sunshine, get out of the snow, and we're gonna have a lot of fun, I think. We're heading off to the airport, so thank you for watching this week's vlog. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. See ya, California, here we come. Got you something. Now you can finally learn how to make a proper taco. That looks fun. Landed. Look at this spoon right now. I, I, I dreamt that we landed. The oat That's box. my spoon. What <laughs> <laughs> Dave, I said it's gonna be about be prepared for 2K. What do you say then? Like, yeah. Alright, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask if you want to. Oh. Said it once and I'll say it again. If you don't show up, you don't get paid. So.